Welcome everybody back to another episode on the Siege SMP server. That's right, we're back and today is the first episode back in Tidal Update 31. So I've had a couple of microphone issues <laughs> since last episode. My old microphone's actually gone and broke. The backup for that one, which is an identical one, broke as well. And now I have bought myself a new mic. If you notice that my audio sounds a little bit different, it's because I've upgraded the microphone. I've now gone and got the Blue Snowball. Uh, previously, I was just using a standard headset, which has lasted me just short of two years. But that's not what today's episode's all about. Today's episode is all about Tidal Update 31. So I'm going to start it off with the enchanting system, because I absolutely adore this thing now. Knockback 2, you disgusting. Uh, efficiency 3, no... What's the book? Smite 4. No. We're running out of things here. The bow. Unbreaking 3. That's not too bad. Let's just do that. Really? That's nothing compared to this little beauty which I've created. I'm, I've been able to create so much decent gear. Like, I've pretty much got the ultimate set of gear now. Yeah, and I, and I name my boots. <laughs> if anybody d understands the reference to what I've renamed my boots, then good for you. But yeah, the enchanting system's a little bit all over the place at the moment, and so's my analog stick. So if you notice my uh, screen just going like this, and just moving up really slowly, it's because my analog stick uh, is breaking, basically. Uh, so I'm breaking, infinity, some other m different pairs of boots. This is all what I've enchanted in the new update, so there's my last word, which is my looting sword. Another destiny reference. I uh, should probably kill this guy. These guys. I've got a uh, couple things you should, you will notice. Obviously, the uh, nice particle effects on me now, which is really, really cool because I spent some time over the last week, pretty much farming up for tidal update and then having a bit of fun. So I had planned to record the wither fight that I did, but obviously, as my microphone had broken and things came to worst. We just, I just ended up forgetting to do it, uh, but we fought a wither, it didn't go so well, I died just as the wither died, uh, the star did live obviously because we got the beacon, but oh my, oh we just, <laughs> let's see how much of the XP we're going to get here, I don't think we'll get 30 from this, oh we might, oh, so close, now we'll get 30, da -da -da -da. there we go, let's do another one, one more enchantment for the, uh, up no, let's not do that. <laughs> Efficiency 4, that could be good. Check the book. Power 4. Ooh, ooh, that's tempting, because I've got pickaxes. Let's check the bow. Power 4. Uh, yeah, screw it, I'll do the bow. Book. Power 4. Because the books can give you more than one enchantment, which is why I'm tempted to start doing some. Let's put that over there. But yeah, I don't need that. They can go there. Name tags. Renaming stuff's really, really cheap now, which I really like. I'm going to clear my inventory on the surface. Let's just shut this machine off. Uh, nether portals have changed, obviously. We got the new update for nether portals now. I've made a nice portal down here inside the farm. So lights on. Uh, obviously, Here's the beacon. I've used up all the iron and gold off the surface. So we do have a max beacon here, which is nice. Currently, it's got strength 2 on it, just because I was using... Uh, just to kill the skeletons. But yeah, mainly most of the changes on this world will happen when the mod tool gets updated, when I reintroduce like the diorite, the andesite, and all the good blocks like that. I have gone round here and updated all the flowers and stuff, because this just looks much better now with the new stuff. Uh, we did creative mode in the flowers, just so we've got them, and we did do the same with an acacia uh, tree, which I'll show you over here. Let's just get rid of this bow. Oh, I should probably explain that, really. That was the failed episode 11 before last episode went out. I'm going to make a wall there at some point, a castle gate entrance, but since the updates come out, that will go on hold. So, yeah, we kind of uh, modded in some of the stuff, when I say modded creative mode, just so we've got it in the world. I didn't really want to lose it, because I know I can get everything else. Uh, most of these flowers we should be able to get. Uh, these, you can obviously bone meal. Actually, I've got bones to prove it. Yeah, you can bone meal this to get more, so you just chuck some out like that. So we can make a little farm for these, and these are also used for dye. So you can obviously just place them around, and it does override the tall grass, which is really nice. Did I have another one? Yeah, that's that one too. Peony. 
probably butchering the names of these flowers, but who cares? See, that looks really nice, that, just doing two tall flowers up there. So, obviously, we've, we've already got Dark Oak, because this is a modded world. We've got the uh, the new biomes already in the world. A couple ones that we're missing, obviously, being the Mesa biome and the Ice Spiked. But, once again, I can get those in the world, because, obviously, it's being modded. We don't really mind. Somebody swapped my armor out on my armor stone, because that was a iron armor. And, uh... Funny story, uh, I was on another world with some friends before the update came out, and we were messing around with, that's kind of how all my stuff's got renamed Destiny stuff, because we were renaming stuff, and we just thought, why not, we'll just rename a donkey, meet a multi mule, and then 10 minutes later, this donkey gets blown up, which is a real shame, uh, but yeah, so that's rest in peace to him. Oh, hi, villager, thanks for coming to the door to show yourself to me. So, two new librarian villagers have shown up in our, um village and I've renamed them and sorted through them but these are the most amazing villagers you will probably ever see like the books in this guy are just stunning efficiency 5 for goodness me efficiency 5 book then he follows it up with an affinity book for bows and then unbreaking 3 so this guy is brilliant and then this guy just tops it off really sharpness 5 then followed by Silk Torch, Silk Torch for 8, and then Flame. So some nice bow pickaxe enchantments there, and uh, I'm going to get stuck in this place, so let's just break out. I'm sorry, guy, I didn't mean to break your fence. I'll put it back for you before you escape. I've trapped them in that house to keep them safe. There's a couple of new villagers around as well. I think there was a blacksmith. Aha, here he is. Yeah, he's got all the full chain armor on this guy. I was unlocking one of them, and then all of a sudden, boom, all the chain armor came out on one of the trades. thought that was pretty cool. Uh, it turns out farmers don't farm crops, which is a shame. Uh, I thought that was uh, something they were adding into the game. It said it in the change log, but they never changed it. So the only thing that really changed was the way villagers breed and how their trading works. So the trading's much better now. Instead of wasting a librarian buying clock after clock after clock, instead you instead of baiting like a stack of clocks and some compasses, you can now actually get to the book enchantments fairly cheaply. Which is nice. So I also have spent a lot of time here, because this was my chest for the update, just changing and updating the stuff. So I made some armor stands, got some dark oak saplings from some uh, updated, well, the world kind of updated, so where the Dark Oak wood was, the saplings of, the saplings changed to Dark Oak, which was really nice. Uh, what else? The Dark Oak trees actually drop apples, which I did not know, which is a really, really nice change. So, Lapis, obviously, for enchanting, Bone Meal, the Moss Stone and Moss Stone Brick. Is that, are they both, both moss stone? Oh, mossy stone bricks and moss stone. Basically, you can make these now by using vines and the corresponding cobble or stone brick. And then it works the same way. If you put stone brick in a furnace, you get cracked, which I really love that. Need to get some uh, rabbits in the world somewhere. So I was doing some fishing. Uh, I did post a picture on Twitter the other day showing what the loot I'd got. And I got all this plus partly some of the stuff on this bow. But yeah, where are all the fish? I, f I fished up quite a, quite a lot. Uh, they're not in that chest. They're down here. Aha, here they are. So we've got clownfish. We've got puffer fish. Uh, salmon, I see you there. Now where are the normal fish? Because they, they, <laughs> they were the most common ones still. Fished up this tripwire hook. Uh, where are the normal fish? Ah, there they are. What, what's, what's this? Look at the sea. Oh, that was my first book I ever fished up from the new enchanting system, which was pretty cool. And also discovered something really cool to do with armor, uh, armor stands and dispensers, which we can use in the arena in here. Now, the loot system was originally going to be like that with the lights and stuff, but what about if we have an armor stand that has the loot on that you can equip yourself from? Now, obviously, the normal loot will still end up in the chest, but what I noticed is if you have a dispenser... You can equip an armor stand with the stuff, which is pretty sweet. And you get full armor on the armor stand, so I really like that mechanic. Ums and stuff, and a couple of changes to mob AI. Now, obviously, we have a plan for the biomes, which will begin... I don't know if it's next episode, I don't know if it's the episode after. But basically, we're going to create... I'll discuss this with you now, because I don't know if you'll like this or not. But basically, we're going to make a new world. 
and New World is going to be a world where we'll just go after the Guardian Temple. We just want to make a world, just have a bit of fun as a group, and then just uh, go and kill some Guardians. And then what we claim as the loot from that world, we will transfer back across to this one. I'll probably spawn an abandoned Guardian Temple up in the sky. I think that'd be pretty cool. Just as a monument to say, we have beaten this. Here is the temple that we once brought down. Now, there are Guardian Farms, but I find they're so pointless. Like, the loot you get from them is just not worth it. And as you can tell, uh, <laughs> I've, I've obviously got a still a stack of fish, so I'm just kind of doing a little bit of fishing, trying to get some more good enchanted books. Because I do like the new Anvil system. It's really, really cool, as I've already said. But yeah, mainly all the rest of the stuff's all the new blocks and stuff, which we can't really get a hold of yet until I update the world. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is just repopulate it again. So we end up with random villages again and more diamonds and stuff like that. But we'll end up with the new blocks, which I think will be really, really nice. Now, some of the new blocks, uh, red sand is one of the ones we're going to just mod in. I think I'm going to do like a 50% 50 replacement on current sand and replace it with red. Or maybe 10%, something like that, one in 10 blocks or something. Because you can get glass from... Oh, I just whiffed it. You can get glass from the villages now, which is really, really cheap, which means red sand could actually be more popular than normal sand. Come to think about it, these are the ideas that I kind of need to think of when I go into MC Edit and uh, update our world. Now, it's not going to be long now until the world goes to the Xbox One again. We're just waiting on a couple of people to get their Xboxes at Christmas or in January, and then we'll be moving across. And then we'll eventually have the big world where we can explore all the biomes, Albeit a little bit late than everybody else. I've just whiffed again. But yeah. That's pretty much everything update wise we can currently do in this world. Without messing about. Oh. Slime blocks. Of course. So I'm going to see who's on the server. And see if they want to play a little bit of a mini game. But if not. Do you guys remember from the trailer and episode 1. Where we did all the jumping stuff off the edge of the cliff. Well. Oh I keep. I keep. I keep whiffing this, it doesn't matter. I've got some puffer fish for water breathing potions anyway. Should probably try and sleep this rain off. Oh, it's dry under here. <laughs> no rain here, you can't get me now. But yeah, let me just get rid of this rain and get rid of the fish. So instead of uh, going to show you the slime ball uh, blocks properly, I'll save that for another time because I have a cool idea of what I want to do, so I'll tease you with that. I wanted to show you some other people's builds on the server. Now there's just one peeking over the cliff down here, it's really not too far away from the, uh, the arena that I'm building here, which is another amazing build. I really like the way this one looks. I think he's used the dark oak because this is built pretty recently, but I really like the way it looks. Let's just try and get a bit closer to it. I'm not going to take any fall damage because I've got my boots on. But yeah. Ooh, this is really nice. I do like this. Is that... Spru That's oak. No? Spruce? I don't know. Just to have a wander through. <laughs> just a bit of a nosy around. Oh, there is new flowers. The flowers did update in the world. I didn't even notice that. What flower is this? This is a blue orchid. So wait, if you can, you can put these in flower pots still, can't we? Which means we can make much better decorations in worlds and stuff, which is really, really cool. Are, are these actually dark oak leaves? I don't know. Let's see what sapling drops from these, because they were dropping as dark oak previously. Let's just give them a bit of a beat down. I feel like the oak leaves that are uh, the oak saplings that were there on the ground are signifying that they're these are oak leaves. But so far, no, no evidence to show either are. Wow. Yeah, they are they are dark oak. So they did update with the update, which is really nice. Ooh, what's this? I saw a hole. Ooh, there's a there's a strip mine here. I didn't even know that. I'm getting distracted. I think this is probably one of my old ones, to be fair. I think it is, you know, because it just probably goes into a cave. But yeah, before I get any distracted any longer, I'll uh I guess I'll see you all again in the next episode, everybody, when I have a bit more of a plan and I'm a little bit more organized, not just discussing how excited and the changes that have happened in Tidal Update 31. We will probably get back to the arena at some... Oh! The fly mode for the server. I hate being a moderator on this world because it just... I, I randomly start flying by accident when all it really is is just... In fact, I could probably 
disable it at some point. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy this episode of the Siege SMP server, and I guess I will see you all again in the next one. When in fact, maybe we'll start our new project, which is not going to be the pirate ship. It's going to be a gold farm, because the final change that I'm really excited for is the fact that pigmen spawn above the nether. So I will see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.